my name is Matt, welcome back to the jump. And uh, crack them if you've got them. Uh, this is number Severn. And uh, he lives at 21 seven... What? Can any Americans please explain to me why our addresses are stupidly long? Look at the length of this street. There are not 2,170 houses on this street. Because every address that I ever send anything to says 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 2,000, 1,554. Ridiculous numbers. Where do these numbers come from? Have you all learnt that when you lost the ability to say aluminium, did you also lose the ability to count? Now, now that I've pissed off enough of my audience, well, it's a very small fraction. America's a tiny country. Let's get on with it. Sorry, 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 stop, stop. I said country, I meant colony. If you're annoyed about me slagging off your country, uh, go shoot up a school. <laughs> So he didn't find out where those those black leads went. He just capped them off and said, sod it. I'm glad. You really want to be careful when you're resting those scissors. Because if you think about a pair, like a pair of scissors, right... Like these cutters and you know these crimpers and stuff and these scissors, that's quite a long blade, and you've got a negative terminal there and a chassis. Here. This this whole thing is metal; it's not plastic, and there's exposed threads and stuff. You can quite easily short this out. You got to remember this is a lithium battery, so it has got a punch to it, just like a lead acid. It can half give you a buff. You know what I mean? And the last thing you want to do is set this thing on fire. Well, I don't know actually. <laughs> The last thing he'd want to do is sell. Right? Americans used to say, look at the Zazi on other plates. It's like, that really isn't small, you know. Like, there's not much in it, really. There's like an, an inch maybe bigger, like, on the bottom. And I'm using inches just so you understand what I'm saying. Because you obviously when I start to talk about metric, you think I'm talking witchcraft or something. But number two is, why would you have the number plate angled that way? You'd want it angling the other way, so at least the air spills off the back of it, not... Yeah, you're making a trough there. It's like, so I can hide it from the police because we're all so rapid. <laughs> In straight lines. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Americans are so good at like bike racing. That's why they're all in the MotoGP and World Superbike. The C stands for Hunt. Kent, sorry, Kent. It should be a kid. Ugh. Does that look mullered or melted? Oh, yeah, someone's been, in that with, uh, been attacking that with a screwdriver. Look, actually, it does look a bit weak. A bit hot, hot, hot weak. Hang about a minute. What's with these tabs and them holes? Are them holes for something else and then they put these tabs on but put a little notch in so it misses the thread? Is it weird, isn't it? And like these here, are they meant to... Uh... Clearly they're not, because that's, that's meant to go in there. So what, why is that there and that... Am oh, I missing something here? What's going on? It looks like that tab there, this post. Is that is that lower down? What what is this for? Because that's in the carbon. This is a bit weird. All right, this might be it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's probably it. No! No, because it's there. These tabs are there. Oh, look. Maybe these have got push pins that go through, maybe. It does seem a bit weird just have them little tabs that just hold on loosely, but they're not actually, they don't come up to the frame. There's just a gap. Just, just a gap. Oh, that bit broke off. Oh. Oh, imagine spending this much on your cam things and you have to drill holes in them. <laughs> I would not be happy. Oh, I would not be happy. I'd be extremely... Someone would be getting an email. And I'd probably firebomb the workshop, but... That would be pissed off about that. He's out to take them off again. Wait there, Ginge. Just calm your tits down. There's loads of holes that you might also have to drill holes. So before you start drilling, find out what they're for first before you start putting stuff back on. Because I imagine that this might mirror this or be something similar and goes in that hole, but that's broken off. So who cares? Who cares? Oh no. Wait there. This is off his brand new subframe. He's broken that off, hasn't he? And don't go your heat gun with the carbon stuff. <laughs> oh Jesus. But that. This is his casting look. This is the metal casting, and he's 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 already broken it off. Look, oh, that's well funny. Is that just end? no? Because surely this has got a tab on it, right? This this carbon bit had a tab there. That otherwise, what you're putting this back? There's some real dodgy god bodgy bodgy going on here, isn't there? Look, it's like he's he's attaching this to this because he's broken his brand new. Jesus! Not only that is. Has that got a tab on that's broken, or was that med like that? Because if it's med like that, why is it missing? RPM carbon, why is it missing? Yeah, so it's meant to go on the carbon bit, look. Whoa. I hope that's just a fingerprint, and you haven't melted that fingerprint into the lacquer. <laughs> That would be funny. But this looks all wet. Look, I know it, most of it does. It's just shiny, I think. Don't remove that sticky, you'll avoid it. Um, this is, Look, it's cracked. He's literally broke it off. Because this is brand new. Oh, no, it's not brand new. It's not because it's got shit in it. I thought this... No, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Totally my fault. It's broken off from originally because, yeah, it's got shit in it unless he's put it in afterwards. This isn't brand new. I'm, I'm making shit up. But they are inserts. Look, you can see now. Pressed in inserts. So I, I'm, I'm going. I'm having, a, I'm having a bit of a stroke, but uh, off camera. Um, but these two holes, you've just drilled them holes. You might have to drill them holes out, Ginge, because look, they they don't look like they're any metric size to me. M sixes, but not. Oh, and JB welding stuff back on is just does our epoxy resin. No. Don't remove that sticker to avoid your warranty. Ugh. It's like a mouldy bum all around this bit. Ugh. Oh, you can't see it. Sure built. Mmm. Excellent brand. Welcome back to the channel guys. So right off the bat, we started working on the rear of the bike. One of you guys reached out and let me know that the turn signals only work with the dash plugged in. So I wired all that stuff up and that's good to go. And I received a fan mail package from you guys sent to my PO box. Here it is.
is you know who you are, but this piece, I got a little sneak peek, is for the rear of the bike. So let's crack it open and slap it on the rear of the bike. Didn't it have like an R1M1? Oh no, that was the BMW, sorry. Ugh, that key looks janky like that. Is that the OEM set? That looks horrid. Ah, the, the numbers will be the, probably the pin set for the keys. Why don't you just replace the entire thing? Why are you taking the cylinders out? Oh no, there's five in there. Oh, one could be a false gate though, the, 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 the front gate. Yeah, one's the, the, the thing. But there still is five. He does more videos about taking wafers out of locks than he does actual bike stuff. <laughs> Make sure you get me the right order. Oh no, he's, he's muffed it. Guys, so this is about to be confusing, but so far we have found out that four out of the five wafers work with our ignition key that Carrie cut for me. With the ignition key fully inserted, as you can see, there are no lumps on the wafers. They are perfectly seated in there. Now this is the lock from the seat I received from you guys. And what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this backing off so that I can shove the ignition cylinder out and use one of the wafers in here. So I'm gonna cut this seat lock open and use the wafers inside to complete our wafers. Oh no, you, you caught one of them. What was if that's the way for you needed? Which one's which? Don't know, I'm just gonna keep on trying until one looks right. <laughs> it literally is as well. Oh my god, not even knowing if he's actually got the way for he needs. Oh painful. There are four types of wafers, ones, twos, threes, and fours. The tops are all a little bit different in size. Unfortunately, I am in need of two. Well, it's not the top, is it the slots? The slot is in a different position. More four wafers, but I think I'm just gonna end up running four wafers on the lock. And once again, big shout out to Carrie from American Key Supply. He's helping me out over text. It's awesome. This is a lot of fun. Let's, he, she. let's put the rear of the bike back together. So he caught up that lock and not found the right one. Nice. That seat looks... It's probably... It's not... It's, I still like the way you peel it back. It's just janky. Oh, that's a... <laughs> yeah, really? They must be outsourcing all this work to, I don't know, Dell. That looks horrible. Look at that for a mechanism. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> smells of cheap. Oh, and it doesn't work. Surely that retaining bar is what retains the, the lock, right? Or did you put it in upside down? It doesn't look straight. No, it just looks wrong. Like a glove. Box. 
Man, I'm in love with how that tail turned out. Now, let's start slapping together the sides. Oh, plastic fantastic time. You thought you'd have finished, wouldn't you? Nope. <laughs> Wait a minute, are they the same size? No, they're not, they're not. I was gonna say. All oh, right, I see. So the bit that's coloured, this bit's replacing. So is he is he has he got new black bits? So he's gonna keep them. They might just need. Well, no, because some of them will be scratched. Won't they? What the what the race EQ 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 the race EQ I wonder what that does. So glad someone put a sticker on it saying it was race though because. <sighs> oh my god! They, they literally put right so. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so there's a screw that goes in this hole here, or, or is there? So that, he puts that on there, like so. And then it, it doesn't kind of fit. Then he puts this on, and it doesn't fit. So then he puts that screw in. Then he tries to put it back on again. And then takes that screw back out, and puts that back on again. Then takes it off again, and puts it on. Are we done? Who knows? And it's like he's got this crash bob in there. That's really close to the actual panel. It's like, what is the point in even having it? Yeah, I get it, but you get what I mean. It's like, oh my god, that's not bother. Right. So it's this. <laughs> you ready? So it goes on. Comes off. Comes back off again. Goes back on. Is it staying on? We'll find out. Oh, it's jammed. Ah, oh, it's got all these scratches in, look. Nice. It's got that. I've been wrecked and then put back together by a ginger vibe or um, aesthetic. Right, so we're going on. Oh, first time. It's coming off again. It's going on. No, it's coming off. It's going on. It's going on. Staying on. Thank God for that. Ooh. Not tightened up, though. I notice it's not tightened up. And it's not... He, he seems to do this. He kind of half puts stuff on. So he, this isn't connected. You can see that the brake light switch is in a different county. Um, <laughs> none of this is clean. <laughs> oh, shit on that pipe. All this shit's everywhere. This is just... Um, and then there's a pivot here for the the thing which will be behind but we don't know if that's connected either so who cares and number two is he's got the spring there does it scrape across the top like that i'm sure it doesn't i'm sure it hides inside here somewhere but i could be wrong like the foot of the torsional spring um Oh, it's alright, yeah, he hasn't finished. Alright, well, we'll let him go, we'll let him go. And they're all tied up. Oh, we're drilling holes in our carbon again. Things are getting exciting. I'm dying to ride this thing. It's a gorgeous day outside. Now, what you see here is a custom CJ Media one of one brake reservoir in the rear. I rigged this up with different brake components that I had laying around and it worked out perfectly. Next. 
What the hell is this stupid thing holding this? Oh, what's a fly doing there? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Look at all the dirt. It comes with free sand. Oh, what? What are you doing? Step is to add some brake fluid in the rear reservoir, but first, I want to button up the front because guess what came in the mail? That's right, the pilot light. Oh, is a 301? Are you sure? Is it the left side? Let's check the back. Left side, baby. Why does it say left? It just tells what it's made out of. It tells you that... What? Where's... The... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've been dumb. I couldn't see it for looking. I was expecting something small like a little L. It's this big, gigantic, bloody L. <laughs> Let's put it on. Now, something pretty cool I realized about this is there's only one connector for both the pilot lights in the front because this connector on the harness connects to the left side pilot light, and then from there, it actually shares the power from the left side to the right side, and this plugs into the right side pilot light. You wait until you see a loop system, like a ring system for electrics. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> a loop system, a ring system. All right, let's get this thing looking right. Shared power. Look, dude, don't, don't zoom out of all of the crap Plugged I Plugged into anything. the right side pilot light. All right, let's get this thing looking right. Behold, half of the county on a bike. Back off again. Why was the glue? Why was the glue? You see that? That was glue. Why was that glue? Yeah, it's a shame because you can see the L now. You just can't see if there's an R. I didn't know how obvious it was. Probably, probably as obvious. <laughs> Yeah, I don't reckon that's just stuck there like that. When I turn left, the bike revs. <laughs> oh, it won't happen with this because it's probably a fly-by dickhead wire. But um, yeah, you know that kind of thing. It's like when I turn when I turn right, my brakes just come on. <laughs> Oh, that looks cheap and nasty. Ugh. I'm surprised to do with the Raptail file, to be quite honest. You spent all of this money on carbon, and then you do that. Now I know the original, the real bracket isn't that much different, but come on, what is the real bracket? Like eight quid or something? It's that, but it's brake switch. It's brake light switching. It will do one day. One day. What's the point of the bracket? You know, you just you just turn it a bit. It's like, oh no, the hose that feeds the reservoir is basically going uphill, so it won't flow down. Well, why do you think the bracket? What do you think the bracket's going to achieve then? You div. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like, why is he holding it up? It's because he doesn't feed it properly. Hmm, think about that. I've never seen someone take so long to breed some brakes. Well, I nearly have.
Right, so look, you see... <laughs> it, it, just forget it. it you, you, you just... It's dangerous, that's what that is. Because you might go, yeah, but Matt, it's going to draw it in. It's like, but he was having problems bleeding it. What do you think is going to happen? Front tire's knackered. I've got a front tire. I believe it'd be right. All right, guys, the brakes have been bled. Unfortunately, the shift lever is pretty garbage, but it will have to make do with a... Oh, it's gonna have to come off again. <laughs> it's already been off three times. Wow, it just gets better. We have, now it's time to hit the road. Let's head to the gas station. Uh, let's get a video of the cameras. Yes! Thank God! I thought I was going to miss out what cameras he's using. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Good one. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's probably run out of fuel. Yeah, those those jump leads out for that. Oh, thank God it's our favourite petrol station. Whew. I thought we were going to miss out. Is it an American thing to get off your bike when you refuel? It's almost like he's stupid. <laughs> Don't put them... Oh, just, forget it. Just... Who cares? Controls that the way it turns. What controls it? It has more revs. I'm sure it does. Okay, that was sweet, man. It was spitting some flames as you saw in those videos. When I said I was waiting on some key components, I mean these components right here, but I had to jimmy rig something. The hardest part about the ride was actually this piece of garbage. But now let's open the rest of the- You do have a quick shifter, right? 
Well, the same nice actual shift as Max, yeah, yeah, go on. Carbon and finish assembling the front of the bike. What I do find surprised about his videos is he goes to the petrol station, comes back almost like a shakedown run. Oh, them wheels look horrible. Um, and he does this kind of like, you know, like a shakedown run, but never comes back and says, oh, this needs adjusting, this is broken, the chain's too tight. There's there's never, you know, the suspension isn't working properly. There's never any, like, report on what happened. He just gets it spot on first time. It's like, come on, no, you don't. You know what I mean? It's like you're trailing your chain on the floor and you buy the wrong size chain, the wrong length chain. You, you you do all of these things wrong. You take parts on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off. And it's just like, but no, when it goes for his shakedown ride, that's it. It's perfectly fine. It conked out outside for some reason. We don't know why. And it's just all perfect. I just think there's it's one of these one of the cases again where there's a lot of editing going on. And it's just like, why? Why are you... Make it more, be all more honest about it. Like he didn't, he didn't, he didn't talk about the security fasteners at all. That would have been interesting. You know, especially for people who've never seen them before. It's like, oh, that's cool. It makes sense. I don't think he's mentioned ever drilling holes out of the, the fairings. How that is bad. You shouldn't have to do that. Like, the people who manufacture these fairings, they know how big the holes are meant to be. Oh, speak to the devil. Yeah, just holding them in midair and punching holes through them is usually not the best idea. <laughs> On your knee. <laughs> Love it. the same picture no. but the wheels look the dot the dot the dot the wheels don't match is he getting carbon wheels it just reminds me of the h2r i think that looked gashing carbon as well Cause it's almost like, mm, look what I've got. I've got stylish black fire blanket. <laughs> Just thought, all right, great. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, oh, I hope you're going to mention that bit. That, that match is great. I'm loving it. Thanks, Carbon people. He also does nothing about the weight of the brakes. Change brake pads? Nah. Inspect them? Nah. <laughs> Why would I do that? about the cracks in it? What cracks? Oh, you imagine if someone wrapped the wheels. Someone's probably done it. Someone's probably done it. 
They've tried to wrap the spokes and everything. Oh, I'd love to see that. If anyone's got a picture or a video of anyone wrapping wheels, vinyl wrapping wheels, I will wee. <laughs> and whatever you wipe that with did absolutely bugger all. Is he just going to leave the front lug guard like that? Or has he got a new one coming? He must have a new one coming. You can't leave it like that. It's just like res tape residual. Cool. Look at the shit in there. <laughs> when you add it on the stand, take your wheel off. Oh, love it. You take the whole thing apart and wash it all before you start putting it back together at all. Because this is the thing, as you're jimmying stuff around, moving stuff, shit's going to fall off onto your new parts. You're going to get new stuff mucky. You so why? <sighs> what is it with people doing that? So far, so good on the carbon. Now we're going to move on to the massive side pieces, which is really going to make this bike. Absolute beautiful weave all throughout on both pieces. Man, I'm excited to throw these on the bike. Please throw them. I'd love to see them being thrown. Do you know what? I don't like that. This is so hard, Jack. What the fucking hell is that? I do not like this giant panel covering the cylinder head. Oh, it looks gash. Why would you do that? Is he missing a bobbin or something? Because it looks like there's nothing in there. I can see daylight through it. Oh, I can. Is there nothing up? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, did he ride around with the head not bolted to the frame? <laughs> he did, did he? Well, let's actually, let's go back. Let's go back and see if he took that off to get the panel on. Gonna make this bike. Absolute beautiful weave all throughout on both pieces. Man, I'm excited to throw these on the bike. No, so as far as I can see, there's nothing there. It's there, look. The fairing doesn't go there. It doesn't cover it up. And you can see, you can see daylight through it. So there, you can see, there's like the, the hole, the white. It moves because the parallax. There's, it's, there's nothing... Oh, my God. Who cares? <laughs> oh, great. Love it. Pothole. Ooh, what was that? Don't know, don't worry about it. See, look, there's the bobbin there, look. That's the bobbin he's got threaded through this side. Which, again, it misses. Which it misses there, look, you see, it's not. It's... Whatever, who cares? Hey, dude, your cylinder is not screwed to the end. Ah, who cares about that shit? There's still nothing, I can see it there, there's still nothing screwed on it. You take it out for a ride again. Oh yeah, look, it's there, there's nothing screwed into it. Go on, wheelie it. No. Nothing screwing that cylinder head to them. Awesome. <laughs> that 
that's the look he gives. That's look, look he gives the the pre the what is it the kindergarten kids? As he right, I can't do it because I'm not moving. But he rides past going leering. Oh. And this is one mean R1. The carbon with the brushed aluminum, with the blue, with the gold. Mm, beautiful. The blue with the gold. No. I'm so ready to shoot some more flames and take you guys on some more rides. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Well. Each one must give as he described in his heart. Not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is the instruction manual for paedophile priests. <laughs> oh God. Is that how you spell Corinthians? I thought it would be a much smaller word. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.